Be advised, mature content ahead. This podcast is brought to you ad-free thanks to the Legion of Demons at patreon.com slash N-O-T-L-P. If you like what you hear, there's much more at patreon.com slash N-O-T-L-P. Join the Legion. That's patreon.com slash N-O-T-L-P. And now the show. How do you do? Just a word of friendly warning. I think it will thrill you. It may shock you. It might even horrify you. So if any of you feel that you do not care to subject your nerves to such a strain, now is your chance to... Uh, well, we formed you. I'm a tiger. <laughs> I'm a Cincinnati Bengal. He is. Thanks for your vague animal sounds. We're doing NF Hell. Andy named I, the theme. It's a good one. I see what you're doing now. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot. It wasn't because you weren't doing a good job. It's because I forgot. We were talking about tigers <laughs> long ago. Yeah. Uh, I forgot. <laughs> uh, Who was that um, gay cartoon tiger that went wow? Uh, uh, oh, are you talking about um, uh, Snagglepuss? Yeah. Snagglepuss. I think... I don't know if he was a tiger. He was a big cat of a type. It was like a Heavens to Murgatroyd. Right? Yeah. He wasn't a saber tooth. He was like a, a panther or a, oh, okay. a, yeah. or a, a, pu- a puma. He might have been a puma. Heavens to Murgatroyd. <laughs> Exit <laughs> stage right, even. Uh, <laughs> I think Paul Lynn was a cartoon. I love Snagglepuss. <laughs> I, I was what I was one of my favorites. That was, a, that was spot on. Thank you. Uh, Just because he was one of my favorites. <laughs> uh, so... NFL. This, this theme this month, all each movie yes. will be based upon the mascot of an NFL team. Has to feature it in some way. So, oh, th- yeah. This week we're doing Burning Bright because it features a tiger, not because it's anybody's favorite movie or anything. But none of us had seen it. <laughs> I'm very excited for the Super Bowl. By the way, it's coming up. <laughs> <laughs> what? Did you forget to watch it last night? No. Oh, okay. I was just. I was making a joke because it obviously I was doing one of those. Oh, it's such oh, our timing is so bad. Oh yes, yes, yes. Good yes. God, I'm sorry. That was slow to pick oh, up. That's all right. Doing there. He, no, it's my him. that's that's my fault. Yeah. You can't. I I have to workshop. Well, that, that happens that, when you get up in years like me. We're we're men of a certain age now. Speaking of men of a certain oh, age, Jesus oh, Christ. <laughs> Freddie just you. likes that just bra. Likes I'm a just, certain age. He needs to have another outlet to recommend things to people. Yeah, yeah. he just here. gets up. Uh, it was last week. It was the sausages. Yeah, yep. and now it's men of a certain men age. A certain he has age. to. Tell. Well, that's you should start a recommending vlog. You should uh, do it on what, your tickety talks. Uh, I just do it right here, right now. Twenty two. Right episodes. here, right now. Freddie loves that show. Go They're watch all it. They're on HBO. It, only, it was back in two thousand nine. It's just something that flew under my radar, but it's came. Now to that me. you are of a certain age, I'm a man of a certain age. It hits all those middle age themes so well, and oh, it's so this, goddamn funny. The show was just waiting for you to discover it. Mm-hmm. It was just sitting there. You weren't ready Aging. for it in two thousand nine. I tried to watch it, but uh, you weren't of a certain age. But I wasn't of a certain age, <laughs> yeah. and I I had a wife of a certain demeanor, and she didn't want to watch it. <laughs> Shut it off. Said maybe you'll like this when is, you're older. Is that a spinoff of Men of a Certain Age? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wife of a certain demeanor. It's called menopause. Wives of certain demeanors. <laughs> slash Karen. Anyway, that sounds like an awful version of Housewives or something. <laughs> No. Oh, like I that. wanted to take just a quick moment though at the top of the show to thank a dead guy. <laughs> which, sounds, sounds, which one? Which one? <laughs> it sounds so weird to Jinx. say that. But if you um if you go to YouTube, there is a channel called A Dead Guy Productions, and I just appeared on the to- a talking dead guy, which is his interview show. And uh we we did A Talking that. Dead Guy. Yeah. Like a talking cat. Like a talking cat. Um but cat. A cat. But we had a lot of fun. Um what y'all talk about? Uh, girls. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, he, we talked about music and uh, and pop culture and stuff, but it was we talked about this show a lot. It was mainly about Night of the Living podcast. Fuck yeah. Oh. Um, and then also about- Did I come up? Yeah, did you, you mention did. us? Uh, and he, oh. And he has invited all of you on the show uh, as a group whenever we want to do it. Um, if oh, that's sweet. something you guys be interested in. And then- yeah, I'm um, down. And then we talked about music and uh, my, the music I've been writing and releasing, and and we had a chat. 
we the show was pre recorded, but Friday night we had a chat with his viewers who are all really nice people that um, were super gracious and and kind. So I wanted to say hi to anybody who made it over here from there. And thanks oh, for wow. checking us out. Hi. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Thanks, dead guy. A. Eh? <laughs> dead guy. Comma A. Eh? Yeah. Um, and you're, oh. you mentioned my name, Kelly. He, and uh, he, oh. he remembers By name. you from school. Uh, oh, from school. Yeah, this is an old schoolmate of us who we've come back into each other's lives because he discovered the podcast and realized that we all went to school together. Isn't that funny? Oh, you ought to, oh. You ought to text me the name. Um, yeah. You want me to just write oh. a slip of paper and slide it under your door? <laughs> yeah, if you could, yeah. Just like just, we're in school again. Just fold yeah. it up. <laughs> you got to follow, you know, standard high Don't school folding. Yeah. Uh, Kelly, you know. Kelly what's, what's that in your hand? You can read it for the class? Kelly was the king <laughs> of creative note folding. Yeah, I it's because that's what I did instead mm-hmm. of graduating on time. <laughs> um, I remember very distinctly. Freddie and I, we were just like a fold it till it's small. We did football yeah. sometimes. Ah, I don't got time for that. Yeah. When I wanted to flick one at you, it was a football. Oh, okay. Some some lucky ladies got uh like uh Chinese throwing stars or oh. shurikens as I as is which is probably the how more uh, correct way to say that. Oh, no one ever showed you how to do a sh- uh, paper shuriken. No, I was Freddie, not we're going to have a, we're going to have a craft time. Craft time I'm going to show I'm going to show you how to make one, but I have to kind of remember. I'm not going to look it up. I'm going to okay. I'm going to go into my it? memory. Muscle memory. Can I yeah. I'm going to hold you to that. This? I think I can remember it. You remember when you make airplanes and crazy. everybody had a different way of making a paper airplane? Yeah. Yeah, and there's the books about. It. Oh, anyway, I wanted to say while we were talking about recommendations this is what my dad used to do at the drive through when he would order he'd be like i'll have he's clapping his hands <laughs> with each word a big mac with fries oh, he was, and he was so ahead of his time yeah um but anyway come at we, me <laughs> all right we've got we've got, he was he was ready <laughs> we have one episode left of strange new worlds thanks for the recommend oh, i mean exactly. we would have got to it but it is so fucking it's my favorite right now mm-hmm of the Star Treks, I think. Although original series is is sort of my favorite. Of, uh, you know, ver- it's not the best. I get that. Don't get me wrong. It's I get layer. it. Emotional. It's There's your emotional, emotional foundation. Exactly, and that's why this I love so much because it's like right around that time, and it brings it into the universe. Like it kind of like gently, like baby uh rocks that era into like the the current you know look and feel of of star trek with characters oh my god i am dying for scotty oh that was gonna be great yeah i love i uh, need a scotty i need a scotty i love the anyway the palette like it looks it kept, like the yes series yeah. which that's what it come, just a warm blanket feeling every time it, that's what it is when it's because and they do it so well because it's blended and, and it's subtle but it's also not like you know like you said the uniforms very just original series like in your face but then they have other like supplemental shit and then like a lot of the sounds you'll hear the sounds mm-hmm. from the original series it really puts you there and what i love oh my god because I, I can't remember you guys told me this at the time because the gorn is the alien species yeah. I really always wanted to see after, because they never showed back up. And so they play a big role in this show. <laughs> you, Spoiler did feel, alert. Did you feel like that first... Sorry, Gorn, Andy. There was a Gorn tease uh, episode where you think you're going to get Gorn. And then you it's don't not, get no Gorn. <laughs> it's I Gorn. Did, it's I kept Gorn. myself... Is there, Gorn, <laughs> is there a Gorn kid? <laughs> I know what you're going to ask me. And I kept myself from commenting on the look of it mm-hmm. because those are, are fresh hatchlings. Mm-hmm. Is that what you're going to ask about no, the look no, of them? No, no, oh. I was just talking about the first episode where they just hint at the Gorn. Oh, they tease at it, never, yeah. And it feels that was the only episode of the series I didn't enjoy was because I was like, they sure hinted at the Gorn a lot and used this to flesh out a couple of characters and it was very Fucking thin. Fucking Gorn tease. But they made up for it when they did the actual Gorn episode and made it basically aliens, which I yeah. thought was uh, so fun. What was great? We just watched that one. I uh either last yesterday or the day before. And, um, it's so many, they, they homage so many horror movies, mostly. I mean, it's, it's mostly aliens is like an alien is the, is the base of that. But there are so many little moments 
that that nodded to a whole bunch of different things. That was a great fucking episode, man. Yeah, it really. Was. I, if 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 you haven't if you haven't gotten to it, I highly recommend it. I add my recommend to to the heap and pile, especially if you are a fan of of original series era Trek and that Enterprise, which I very much am. I love that enter- the Enterprise. I love. I love that they have what they did. It's so cool. I want to live on it, and I want to stroke uh, his hair. Yeah, and they have the nice same hair. like like you get most of the original kind of um, you know different different uh, civilizations that they that you know you you get your Einar, you've got your you know all your original series people. They all your favorites show up: the yeah. Penguin, Joker, the Riddler, <laughs> the Romulans, the Klingons. Godzilla, there, everybody's there. You know how Rihanna didn't bring out any special guests, didn't do anything with their old collaborators? Her baby. Yeah. That was a special guest. But special see, guest. Strange New Worlds <laughs> did not take that approach. But they're they're doling them out. You know, you, it's like they, they're doling. They they're, are. They're doling's Cadillac. <laughs> they're doing the same thing with Picard. They they have been doling out kind of little bits. Uh, season three of Picard comes out. I'm so sorry, Andy. I know you're dying inside. <laughs> comes out this week, I think. It's final season two, right? The, we haven't yes, started that yet. The 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 excitement I feel in my glands for this. And your glands are in your glands. Ladies don't have a glands. Glands. Right? The one in that, her penis. The Freddie in her penis. Her lady glands. Her clit? Is that a lady no. glands? <laughs> Her penis. No, I was making another joke about Amy having a penis. And, uh, <laughs> well, what's the definition of a gland? It didn't really. I just meant the things that uh, <laughs> pump out hormones. Not a gland. A glands. I was saying gland. Z. Yeah. Okay, I'm with you now. Oh. Phallus. I'm sorry I did this. <laughs> Everyone. I'm, so I'm sorry I did this. Excited. I just wanted it to be a throwaway <laughs> wordplay. And I ruined name, everything. You could name the episode <laughs> The Glands Fallacy. Uh, it would be about what we just did. Ooh, fallacy, P H A L L. Yeah, doesn't that sound like a Star Trek episode title? Yes, but it would be written by um, what's her name? Uh, the two initials. Uh, oh, um, D B. No, D B Cooper. Not D B Cooper. H <laughs> H Holmes. I P Freely. What's her name? <laughs> I forget. She wrote the Miss Betty episodes. won't. <laughs> yes, uh, I forget her name too. Bad Trek fan. Mm. That's okay. Uh, C C Deville. That's it. Correct. <laughs> so yeah, um, that now that we got Star Trek out of the way, I'll check that off the agenda because it was totally on mm. there for us. I'm so, I'm excited button. for you to be excited for it. Yeah, and uh, we are getting more seasons of uh, uh, the one I just talked about. Strange right? World. Uh, yeah, Stranger they've already World. filmed yeah. the second season, and that'll start sometime this year. And then I think they're filming third season right now. That's delicious. Isn't that delightful? Yes. Super. Thank delightful. you. Give me I'm, my track. Give me has, my track. It has been giving me just good. Mm. The good, good. The good, good. The good, good. I love it. Yep. We've been watching Celebrity Jeopardy for that good, what, good. Do you have? Are do you have a live stream? Do you? It's on Hulu. Where you Hulu. Watch? The whole season. It already ended. So I was like, Oh uh, fuck! Well, I will be uh, yeah. starting tonight. It was Wee-hee. in January. The Chad Oswalt's on. Yep. The turn we haven't watched the final episode though yet. I do know who wins. Oh, you do? Because it know. this happened weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but how fun is Celebrity Jeopardy? Two reasons. Super fun. Because your celebrities are on there and they're they're so some of them are you're like, wow, how do you function? And then the questions are super easy. Well, they, right. they don't they don't vet these celebrities, they get anybody that says signs up for it. Well Yeah. I mean, you're, I mean, you're not going to see like. Not, are they Jared testing these Subway celebrities before? <laughs> I don't. In terms, in terms of intelligence and. Uh, no, it's not intelligence even. Wiles. It's, it's just naivete. Like it's like not. It's knowing. buzzer. Uh, well, I, I watched it uh, with you guys yesterday, and yeah. it made me feel better that like, hey, I'm just as smart as a celebrity, are you if not smarter. Than a celebrity. <laughs> but it it really underscores the quick thinking to be able to like spit it out. Which I don't think mm-hmm. I'm always good at. So I'm, I would have to pra- You have to practice before. Yeah, yeah. you have to, in like, the question is tough. Yeah, that's when they're that's, bad at. When when you get selected for Jeopardy, I took I uh, both Lisa and I think have taken the test. Um, you should do it. I I was not called back in any capacity. Oh, you I already was, did it. <laughs> yeah, a long time ago, I did the. I took the test. Um, yeah, like years and years ago, but. 
uh, you got to you got to fucking you got to fucking train, man. You, you got to have s- fake setups. You got to have mm-hmm. fake trip. You got it like, and you have to do it exactly like Jeopardy till it's like fucking second nature, man. Like the people, the buzzer. Pe- that's people do fun. that. Yeah, they fucking train. Yeah. with buzzers and shit, like to get to be ready, for, like to be able to be think quickly. Right. We uh we played Jeopardy with Amy's mom on the Switch. Remember, Andy, you were here for that. Yeah, I and beat y'all you asses. You did, and you had to buzz in. It's the buzzer skills he has. The buzzing in is tough. Yeah, when you really are trying. But to then do again, it. I I also uh, it was the Switch version, and there's uh, multiple choice. So well, oh, multiple yeah. choice is whatever. Too, it's getting. I that can't take too much credit for that. Buzzer game though. It's like, buzzer game. Buzzer baby. game is where it's at. Yeah. So it's all about the buzzer. It's not what you know. It's how fast you can press the button. You can't be any chump off the street. Tell you that much. So anyway, yep. Celeb Jep. Uh, Patreon.com slash NOTLP. Uh, New Origins. Kelly was just giving us the DL on that. Uh, so if you want to hear that, thank you for your support, everybody. We really do appreciate it. it makes recording it all possible. Another uh, Topicana this week. Yeah, we'll be recording Topicana. It's Andy's question, right? Yes. I don't know who it is. Question Andy's is. question. So he's going to ask the, a question the, we're going to talk about. It's going to be on Patreon. The Origins and the Topicana's got me... Uh, we're you are it thrown off now. track yeah okay do you confirm that you have received this yes yeah, so i'm okay. thinking of questions as we speak okay. <laughs> so i don't want any confusion my question is what do y'all recommend <laughs> oh oh i heard the mississippi pot roast here is good <laughs> so do we want to talk about the uaps do we want to i don't know i mean do you want to be here all night no then we what are you wait- are those the balloons they're not balloons. These other three objects, the government's like, not sure. Oh, there's, but there's more balloons. objects in the sky now? I haven't heard about that. I mean, I know that there was a, a suppose, uh, the uh, sky, the, the spy balloon. Are we I, sure I, it's not um, related to U2 and their Vegas residency? Fuck them. No. Because that commercial yeah. yesterday on the Super Bowl, it it threw us off for a loop. Mm-hmm. That was weird. I want, you, I want you guys to really chat this up. Listeners understand I'm going to go let my dogs in the house. They're Who outside. let the dogs in the house? Fresh. I will return. Continue. Okay. All right. There, people are going to not know what year this was from us talking about you two and then you <laughs> quoting the Baja, <laughs> man. You threw this, ripping this face so on continuum. I think we're the first ones to ever talk about Baja, man, and you two yeah. on the same, same, uh, same t- at the same time. I don't Should get what that ad was about, us? by the way. What was the ad about? Did they already have? They had to have. Had the ad ready? You too. Did you have the ad ready? And then you were like, oh, that's cool. Plug People are terrified event, right? of, of giant floating objects in the sky right now. I don't know, Let's man. put a picture of it in there. There were a lot of weird ads that I did not understand exactly yeah. what they were for last night. They were all the Christ ads. It's Christ. Christ. We're, uh, Which I get. Have we aged, have we aged out of uh, Super Bowl commercials? It's possible. But remember, Andy, you were here and I was like, Yes, you're seeing a lot like, of ads uh, for Jesus, <laughs> but you're not seeing any ads for any other religions here. We, um, but and then um, you did. Mm-hmm. It was Scientology. Yeah, but talking animals are back in commercial. That's fun. That's all we really yeah, wanted. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> that's it's a throwback. I love talking animals. I, although I, there was a trailer for a movie called like I think Strays or something. That's like an R-rated talking animal movie. That that yeah was my favorite part of the game. Except for the game itself. The game was good. No, no, it wasn't. It didn't end well. And I, the end racism with the Kansas City Chiefs logos everywhere. And while everybody's kind of, going, and, oh. and, and, Yeah, they had the stupid chant. You're fucking uh, Are you guys assholes. fucking blind? <laughs> Honestly, like yes. the Chiefs are are the Super Bowl team this timeline deserves right now. Because the world's on fire and yeah. Uh, yeah, we deserve a awful Super Bowl champion. No, seriously, they shot down the balloon. The government has confirmed that that was a Chinese spy balloon. Then three yes. more objects have been shot down. Alaska, Which Michigan, it, and over Canada. But today, and they're not balloons? No, they are not balloons. But they have, according to the press conference today, they have not recovered any of the debris yet from any of those objects, so they don't know what they are. So the government I mean, shot these down, just not civilians just shooting in the air? Correct. Okay. <laughs> Do civilians have the ability to shoot down objects 20,000 feet in the air? Some probably do, unfortunately. Yeah. Is that legal? The guys from no. Duck Dynasty probably can do it. I mean, It's certainly not legal, but someone, there's probably some weird mm-hmm. malice, malicia somewhere. 
<laughs> Militia. I've seen people send things up into space and like record shit. So why can't they have the technology to shoot things down too? Who? People. Cousin. Civilians. You mean like SpaceX? His second cousin. Oh, like they, sh- they. I've seen videos where they attach a phone to like a a thing, and they just yeah. But it doesn't uh, have a gun on it, does it? That's what I'm talking <laughs> about. You can attach an automated gun to it. I'm you sure. You can put a gun and a phone on it. I mean, and then uh, Tim bet- Cook will come out and be like, Look "Well, there's this. a. I mean, it, it has to do. I think probably largely with, you know, you can't, you can't send something like that would that would shoot such things out of the sky." Into that or get part in the of the way sky, of the plane without well, these, um, with, without fuel that isn't available to the general public. Well, these dumbass conservatives think they can shoot these balloons down because everybody's posing. With of guns. course, they don't. Think they do that. think that. I don't know that anybody really. They are so. I don't believe that they believe these things. Well, anyway, I don't believe. I that believe they, they believe, believe it because I, because they're generally we're stupid people. <laughs> it's an it's an interesting time to be alive. Mm. All I know is that um, I can probably not go to Party City and buy balloons anymore because just the optics. Didn't they just file for bankruptcy? Oh, I see what you did there. Locations, so you can't go there anymore. You should just go yeah. in there and stand on one side of the store with a pair of binoculars <laughs> and just stare at every like person in a red hat you see through the yeah. binoculars. You need to write the Chinese government, Andy, and you got to say, yeah. listen. I can't buy balloons anymore, you guys. <laughs> you fucked up my balloon I like, game. I wasn't even could, allowed to cough on a plane in February of 2020. Yeah. How are you supposed to throw a birthday party now? Yeah. I know. Mm-hmm. It's like the, when they question me, like, whose birthday is it? It'll be like um, when uh, Phoebe and Rachel had to <laughs> pretend they, they're going to a birthday party. Mm-hmm. You know what you do? Remember, K- Kelly knows what I'm talking about, right? I do. Yes, I Just do. say Chairman Mao and then like... And then just call him a motherfucker and then sweep everything off the counter if they interrogate you when you try to no, buy the it's like, I didn't say Chairman Mao. I said Chairman Meow. That's my oh, oh, so cute. Oh. Indeed. And I'm buying balloons for him because it's his birthday. All right. So we covered, I think, every international issue, sports. I'm just thinking about. We didn't cover weather. Unidentified aerial phenomenon. It's warming up a little are you, Amy, are you? Does it make you nervous that we're no, on the verge of because, something? No, and I don't really think it's aliens. I'm being silly mostly with that, but oh, I'm much more worried that it's like Russians. Yes, that's or where something. I don't know what it is, those, and I don't like not knowing what it is. And it almost seems like the government's like, huh? Well, there's a there's silver some stuff out here. there. We didn't know that could be possible. I was watching a national security expert, and I was telling you guys about this yeah. last night on TV, who was talking about this and said. This is all a good thing because everything they have managed to retrieve. Just the one balloon at this point, Freddie. You don't know anything about these other three things. Well, I don't know about the other things. But what I'm saying is what they know so far is that based upon what they've been able to retrieve, it indicates that who that their spy tech is set in the 80s still. That the quality of what they have is like not what we have. Shoddy, shoddy workmanship here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And I don't know, man. I don't know from spying. You don't? I'm just a simple suburban middle-aged dude. Which is exactly what a spy would say. Who wants to bang away on his piano and bang away on his wife. Sexually. (laughs) Oh. (laughs) I just want to eat Mississippi pot roast. I want to watch men of a certain age. (laughs) Amy's equal to a a piano in this scenario. I'm just one of the Sexually. other things he loves. <laughs> he loves to bang on. He loves to bang away. Oh, Amy, you got you got objectified. <laughs> you know how that uh, objectified. <laughs> that's I'm uh, glad so that Freddie. That's an origins <laughs> reference. Yeah. Uh, I want Freddie to objectify I me. Mean, he's allowed. I'm gonna start dressing up as Rolf from the Muppets whenever I I decide. I'm trying to figure out, you know, what my stage presence is going to be when we start playing out. It's a man of a certain age. It's going to be a man of a certain age <laughs> by default. But I was also thinking, like, showbiz pizza gorilla. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Who oh, with the, the gold, with the gold jacket, jacket and or, the bow tie. Or Rolf, like a full Rolf costume with a face, just a hole where my face <laughs> can come out of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All uh, good ideas. Wouldn't that be fun? Who wouldn't want to see a big mm. brown dog play <laughs> piano? <laughs> A, bl- a blues dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I want, I was, China. I was, 
Is that enough? <laughs> what do you want from me? <laughs> what, do you- what do you want from me? <laughs> <laughs> that's like that's my Pavlovian response when uh, somebody says, "What do you want from me?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think of Adam Lambert. What's yeah. funny is that we're probably the only people who do have that because uh, no one remembers that. Yeah, it's just, I was, like, uh, was it a hit? I, I enjoyed it. <laughs> Why just us though? Because we're Lambert heads. We're Lambert. <laughs> what do they call us? Lamb- we're Lambert. <laughs> we're Lambert. <laughs> <laughs> did he win that season or did he uh, lose to David to David Archuleta? He lost. I actually don't know very much uh, about he was him too at all. Gay for America, the time. <laughs> it turns right. out David Archuleta is gay now too. They're all gay. <laughs> the gay season of our idol that was. There are no more straight men on uh, <laughs> on music talent shows. Um, you guys want to move on? Yeah. I, I, yeah. It was nice, huh? Moving on. Hello, boys and girls. It's time for straight to video Russian roulette. Yesterday, I was shot down and hunted by men that wanted to cut my head off. I've flown 28 combat missions in three tours, but none of that scared me half as much as what I saw in that book. It's easy to see them as monsters, but they're just men. It's not human. There's nothing like this bunker and any satellite images. I can take you to it. How many are we talking about? There's an army down there. Kill anything that shrieks. Batter up, you son of a... I'm gonna Screw say around, that uh, this movie, I really enjoyed it. Um, it's on Shutter. I recommend What's it check it out. It's called The Lair. It's Neil Marshall. Who? Yeah, um, it looks cool, man. Yeah, it, it's the thing about this movie is it is in the classic sense a B movie. Um, yeah, it's men in rubber suits cool. uh, playing the aliens in it, um, and it feels like an 80s action movie throughout uh it's very melodramatic like the performances are a lot of english actors playing uh, stereotypes of american war movie characters and doing kind of slightly off um off center accents that are are, oh are they like is like a ragtag where it becomes there's so many like a texan accent and uh well no they're all uh, a a new york accent yeah (laughs) they're all bad they're all bad matthew mcconaughey impersonations across the board except for like the few english and scottish or welsh characters in it um it's it's really entertaining because well, what it is is the main character is a pilot in the royal air force and she's pl- shot down at her fighter jet and it's in afghanistan and she is fleeing insurgents um and, and she ends up finding this laboratory that has these creatures in floating in canisters of fluid it's it's so right down it's everything you expect it to be. It, it's paint by numbers, but the thing about it is, is the action sequences are so well done. It's so well directed and edited that I don't, this movie is not getting great reviews. Like if you look on IMDb, like I just see people saying that they think this is his worst movie and everything. I couldn't disagree more. I had a great time with it. It's very bloody. Um, the camera work, if you like the old, like Robert Rodriguez, style like high octane action camera work and pans like to punctuate stuff that I just technical stuff that is really, really great. Um, 
But like I said, the the characters are really fucking over the top and silly, and it's. But I love that. I love that the the, the lieutenant well, sounds sh- a little bit like Forrest Gump. That- well, it should be because I don't want a grounded uh, monster movie. No, apparently a lot of people do though. That's oh, why do I'm, they? I'm saying they don't like, know what they, they want. Don't know what they want. They don't know what they want. But you know, if it were universally loved, you know, it would be universally loved. It's not. I this movie I do think is for somebody who grew up on stuff like rambo movies and and aliens and stuff and and really still likes that they don't care to have that formula drastically updated um but like it's very satisfying i think it it, it, the kills in it are so gory and great well it's a monster movie right so the most important most important part for me is the creature effects how are they oh um they're mostly practical effects um there are some digital moments in it. There's a, a some moment. impractical, <laughs> impractical <laughs> effectors. Um, one, there's like a spoiler. It's not a big spoiler because you don't even the story is totally irrelevant. It's really about the goofy performances and the action and stuff. It feels it, uh, like the digital effects that they put in, like which I think this ship, the spaceship that they came down in, is this big thing that. It, it looks kind of fake. You know what I mean? Like the way they interact with it, it looks like a, a moment of budgetary restraint. Yeah. Uh, the rubber suits are clearly they're fake. I mean like it's fake looking, but it's also very classic rubber monster suit stuff. So if you like that unpolished rubber monster suit work, this is as good as any of that old stuff. In my opinion, I, uh, uh it's a pretty basic suit design. It's similar to like f- venom, um, in a lot of respects, but I'm- <laughs> yeah, like a rubber suit venom. Are there say it looks like any people in it? Uh, nobody you would know. Oh, well, okay. one of the guys from um, nobody big, nobody big. There is the actor who plays like the, some very small, small, the tiniest. <laughs> small we we actors. Uh-huh. Yeah, there's nobody you would know. Um, the biggest Toy actor breeds. in it is is Jonathan Howard. Um, love that guy. Uh, who was in um Thor: The Dark World. Oh, I hated that movie. Yeah. I might not have even seen it. Was that the first one? Second one. Where they're in Asgard. Did I see that? With, yeah, I'm pretty sure you did. Because I hated the first one so much. I don't even know uh, that the I lead, back. Charlotte Kirk, who helped write the screenplay, is... Um, <laughs> there, it's it reminds me she her character reminds me so much of like Mia Jovovich from Res. This movie has a lot in common with Resident Evil, actually, like the vibe of it. But like her character, there's so many. It's so poured on. Everything's poured on. It's everything's at an eleven with the performances. Everything's delivered well, really fun. dramatically. Yeah, I'm into uh, it. I love it. I love that stuff. It's not subtle acting, but it's not. It's deliberately not subtle in any way. It's also not deliberately goofy. It fits. He, I think it's tuned in <clears throat> to where if you're open to it, it's a madcap kind of fun experience. Just open yourself yeah. to an experience for of madcapery. But clearly not for everyone. Otherwise, Just it open yourself. Be trending open. so low in the ratings, but it hit the spot for me, so I recommend it. I don't know. Apparently, the apology, which I thought was pretty good. I mean, I didn't think it was amazing, but I thought it was pretty good. Um, is getting weird reviews. Colin was asking me about it, and he said that there's all these people saying like it's like a man hating movie. It's that's not ignore that shit at all. Oh, like like I don't even people. Well, I don't know. He just said that's what he, he saw. A bunch of people on IMDb kind of comment that. Oh would, no, the comments <laughs> when they when they comment and they say that a movie is man hating, then that's usually then you know exactly who that person is. I can usually can figure away. out pretty quickly. I can go to their other reviews where they call every other movie man hating. Yeah. Well, anyway, I so I was just going to say, so you can't go by IMDb. I I would never give any yeah. credence to an IMDb rating yeah. or review. Did you like Dog Soldiers? I love dogs. I like Neil Marshall. I, I know I have not. I haven't seen uh, what was it Valhalla Rising or Valhalla? What was his Viking movie? Mm, I didn't know he did a Viking movie. Yeah, it was just a few years ago. Um, I want to say Valhalla Rising or or. or you had some such. In. Can you tell? Well, I was pulling something else up. Can you get oh. it? Oh, oh anyway. God. And then I haven't seen Hellbear. His Hellbear. I have not seen his Hellbear. His, I have. It's not good. Um, oh, yeah. is, that, is that the one with uh, David Harbour? It yeah. is. Oh, okay. uh, do you like this movie better or less than that movie? Than Hellboy? 
Yes. Much more than Hellboy. I really did not like Hellboy. I thought it was pretty okay. bad. Um, I will say that I, I did seeing. not. If you like dog soldiers, this to me, it feels like dog soldiers. But, I like dog soldiers, but he had, it looks like if you watch dog soldiers in, in this together, it'd be a great double feature. But I think the people who are saying this is his worst movie. Aren't really remembering what, Maybe you just don't like Neil Marshall movies anymore. Maybe since Dog Soldiers came out, your tastes have changed. But like Dog Soldiers and this feel like they were both made by Neil Marshall. This doesn't feel like it's like, oh, that wasn't a Neil Marshall movie. It feels like Dog Soldiers to me. A lot like it. So uh, so I would say if you like Dog Soldiers, this is a definite um, must-see. I cannot find a Viking movie in his directorial He did do a, a Mad Max-style movie called Doomsday that I've never seen. That has kind of Viking looking characters in it. That might be what you're thinking. What about. what movie is between the descent and Hellboy? Well, we have Doomsday. That's a, that's a, that's a big uh time period. Centurion. Then he's Centurion, directed. maybe. That's probably what you're thinking. He's only made eight movies, I think, total. Features. Yeah, Valhalla Rising is that Nicholas Winding Refn movie. Oh with, with no dialogue. That's the neon demon guy, right? Yeah. Yeah. And uh Driver? Drive. Maybe I'm thinking of Centurion then. Maybe. Centurion Silver for men of a certain age? Yes. <laughs> it has more extra um, vitamins for your old balls in it. <laughs> your balls need extra vitamins when Centurion you get old. Centurion Silver. Centurion you Silver. Can't, yeah. You can't afford Rami Linnell until you become a man of a certain age. That's what I've heard. That's true. All right. Thank you, Freddie. You're welcome. I hope I did an okay job. You did great. You did, did absolutely. You did fine. You did an excellent job. I fear. I feel like I know I what you. this movie is about. All right, let's. Oh, well, you gotta. I gotta say the thing. Say the thing. All right, for next week. <laughs> say the thing. The movie thing. is on Netflix, and it's called Viking Wolf. Oh, ironic. Uh, um, I can't pronounce this name correctly. It looks like Thale, but it's probably Tail or Tell or Tall. I don't know has just moved with her parents to a small town after her mother has a new job in the local police. After a student is killed brutally at a party she attends, she becomes a key witness. Was the killer an animal? A wolf? Viking wolf. Viking, Viking wolf. wolf. It's, um, it's from the Viking country. What is it? Norway? Mm -hmm. Yes. Swe Sweden? No, Norway. I forgot to turn oh, the volume okay. up. Well, that's okay. But I will tell you it's Andy. Oh, it's Andy. Andy, you, Andy, your winner. You see how th this little roulette wheel thing we use is spurting out. Oh, it's got confetti. confetti. Mm -hmm. Was it called funny. him Viking Wolf or Viking, Viking Wolf? wolf. Viking. Viking, Viking wolf. wolf. Okay. Okay. Netflix. We'll be right back. I'm starting a safari ranch. I need a scary animal. That's what the tourists pay to see. This cat. He's not scary. He's evil. Gulf Coast all morning to now in effect for all of Gulf Coast. We're looking at a strong Category 3 so board up those windows. The emergency shelter being set up in King County. In the middle of the night, an evil was brought to this house. <laughs> Windows are boarded. Don't wake up. The doors are sealed. There's no way out. And it's appetite. Please, God, let there be a way out of this. It's relentless. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> that trailer does not reflect the movie at all. No. no. And it scares hackers. And it sounds scarier. Me love oh, forget anything scarier. That's my Garrett Dillahunt. Do you person. okay? It's not very good. No, he was so, so wasted in this movie. I was love everybody? Him. Yeah. I love him. I who? Garrett Dillahunt? Garrett yeah. Dillahunt. Oh yeah. hell yeah, he's the best. Um this movie starts off like Tiger King. Yeah, yeah, kind of. I actually, yeah. I, I like this movie quite a bit, actually. I, 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 it's I okay. like. 
for me. It's, well, listen, dog. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to give anybody any illusions that this is um, like a really good movie. But I did. En- I enjoyed it, and I'm going to tell everybody why when we get around to all those reasons. Well, but okay. I, 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 I love that. I love that opening. I love how grimy, like Florida and the. I mean. They could have gone a lot further with a that's, lot of everything. Yeah, as well. that's the, what I wanted from this movie. Yeah. Um, when I saw Meatloaf in it as just uh, basically a cameo, uh, being a Tiger Wrangler, I was expecting a lot more fun and campiness, but mm-hmm. it took it pretty seriously, actually. But it's an evil, evil tiger. That's. Yeah. <laughs> I was. Ex- I was. Ex- um, do you, now you guys are laughing because you think his spiel was real, like he was trying to. Oh, because I took that as him trying to sell the tiger because Garrett Dillahunt was going to back out, or at least that you can no, look I at it, it that way. I took him for his word that uh, it was like a the Velociraptor from uh, <laughs> Jurassic Park. Like well, maybe that's why I liked like, it a little better like than the you guys. Girl. I gave it a little. <laughs> <laughs> but I was expecting more, like just two people in a house running from a tiger. I needed. Uh, a bigger house and more people. Yeah, one of whom is nonverbal. Like Freddie said right after it was over, he's like, that would have been better with more people, more something in it. Yeah. And just for victims. <laughs> like, it's, no, it's, well, it is a slasher movie essentially with a tat cat instead of a slasher. Yeah. And it's like also kind of a home invasion movie. And the, the reason that you have to have those things, and this is um, over 12 years old now. So, like, we are accustomed to that in these sort of movies a, a, a level of tension that is so high. Like, I disagree. I, I thought the tension in this was outrageous. There were good spots. I thought it was good. I, but what I mean by that is that there are too many drawn out moments where you don't get to see. Look well, repetitive. I guess this tiger as, as, as um, an imminent threat in the way that they couldn't just push the bed in front of the door to the bedroom. So, yeah. so like it, it was clever. It was a strong tiger and all these things, but there were, Evil. It, it failed the believability test that I think a good suspense movie needs to pass in a lot of ways. There were a few instances where I was like, I know exactly how you could get out of this and you're doing the exact opposite. But I did thing like it. I should prolong say, the movie yeah. and that bugged it me, was fine. but there yeah. were some good um, fun moments. I tell you what, I just I just let I let myself go with it. I did take. I mean, I didn't take everything in its word. Like I said, I like to think that that guy was was like, "Fuck, this dude wants me. He's not going to buy this tiger." All right, you want a thing? Hey, guess mm-hmm. what? This tiger did. It probably like in my mind that tiger wasn't any smarter or more evil. It was just very very hungry because they oh, didn't. Oh yeah, it. yeah, that's a good point, Kelly. Yeah, and that it was probably weak, which also explains because that's what I was gonna. The, these are the things that I actually liked. I think are the things you didn't like because I looked at it as more of a, I mean, not a, like I said, it's not, I'm not trying to give anyone the impression. This is like a, a serious or, or, or like hard. It's a serious movie, but like, it's not like a good, like, Whoa, but like, <laughs> I, I like a TV movie. I went, I, not, I love TV movies and I went in, I went into it like, um, uh, where where was I? I was talking about fucking uh, him overselling the shit, and then um, anyway, uh, oh right, it being weak and stuff, which which kind of explains why some of those things it 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 was a little clumsy or hard, make, having a hard time getting through certain things. Um, now I will say the shot with its head coming through the wall was goofy. I will absolutely <laughs> a million be percent great in a haunted house though, wouldn't it? I'm but I will a million like, percent cop to that. Yeah. That's what I liked about the movie, the goofy parts, where it was obviously um, a green screen uh, yeah. CGI tiger. <laughs> and, yeah, the, and the size of the tiger changes a little bit. They were very like creative. <laughs> yeah, they were very like the creative. The proportions of the, uh, of the tiger was sometimes huge and sometimes it was like human sized. And uh, I, that's yeah. what I liked about it because... It's not the fall of the movie. It was like didn't live up to what I wanted from it. But from what it was, it was fine. But it, I just thought it could have gone further. I got you. And I actually did. I think some of the weird stuff with the, I think they were trying not to use like as much like CGI animation where I think they were taking footage of tigers and sort of working like, them. Yeah. They're just working like, them in. Yeah. Like, like so pasting they, the, uh, the, the, I'm sure they had the a real tiger. Together. 
so the they didn't have though. to do too much CGI because that yeah. really would have been bad. And so I, I get, I, I appreciated that, and the creative way I think they yeah. used the tiger footage. Um, I, I like that there were just two people because I felt like there were, and I like that the kid could at any moment start fucking pounding his face and screaming because it added to me such a, a an element of like, you got How are you going to keep this kid quiet? Right. And like, how are you going to get this kid to understand what's happening? But he always and does how are when you he gonna needs get to this in the movie. Kid out. Um, Do you know who that kid is? This is maybe no. one of the reasons Freddie and I had a problem with the movie. This kid who's probably what, like six, seven, eight, nine in this movie. I have no idea how old this kid's supposed to be. I have no idea. But he he's on Ozark now, and we've been watching Ozark. Um, and I just watched him fuck an old lady in an episode. Uh, like mm. a prolonged sex. Fi- she's not old. She's probably in her 50s. He would have been 12 when they made or when this was released. And he's probably now, in his 20s. Now I'm seeing this kid in this movie, and it was con- it was just <laughs> confusing. I couldn't deal with it. Mm. You know, uh, mm-hmm. oh, anyway, fuck. other than that. I had a brain fart um, all of a sudden. So, your your basic story is Brianna Evigan from Step Up Two. Um, her brother is severely autistic, and she's trying to get him into a school because she wants to go away to college. And the, they're orphans and stuck living with their shitty stepdad, played by Garrett Dillahunt, because their mom had s- committed, committed suicide. suicide. We're gonna spoil this. Oh yeah, all the way. So, yeah. And- also, before we get into it, this I also love this. I love this whole little story because like. That alligator movie rips this movie off. Which one? Pretty sick. Uh, crawl. Crawl. I, I loved Crawl though. See, you love Crawl because it takes out all the story. And I'm not saying yeah. because you. I just mean like that. That's why you didn't like this. I think. Well, no. Crawl I is th- this element of it that you. I think you're about to start talking about here. Is the thing I I said to Amy. I said this is makes this way more interesting to watch because I know there's a human motivation behind why this tiger's in the house. And there's like a mystery. Yeah, there was a bit of a mystery. Yeah. I mean, and um, and so that, and maybe that is also why I like it better than I might have because I'm used to these movies like just being just a chase. Um, like that's what I did. Like Crawl also had not gr- good CGI, but it was like there wasn't much else other than we're trapped in a house with an alligator. And I do feel like this had some characters, character development, a little backstory. And a mystery, and that was pretty cool. I thought that was pretty I cool. I thought that they put that all in there. Um, yeah. So she's trying to get him in a private school because she wants to go away to college and she needs somebody to take care of him. And she knows that Garrett Dillahunt isn't going to do it. But then she finds out that he took all of her money that she was going to use to pay the tuition to buy the fucking tiger. And she comes back to the house, but see, because he's building a an animal attraction, a, he's, a shitty. He's tiger kinging. Yeah. And um makes me wonder if the writers of this movie knew about um carol baskins because i mean isn't it sure, set in they, florida they used real tigers they, they didn't interact yeah. oh with yeah the, the cast but they used I, real tigers i so wonder if they used her fucking i was tigers. just about to say they probably or doc Antle or from them <laughs> guys you remember tiger getting at the beginning of the pandemic oh the pandemic of you guys remember that? um so she comes back, but also a fucking hurricane is bearing down on where they live. But she is so unconcerned with that. And like, listen, I know that this is a very big moment in your life, but her complete lack of giving a shit about an incoming hurricane yeah, like was she upsetting was just, to me. Well, not just that. <laughs> she was just so blase about basically everything that happened to her. Did you stop at the I story? Really? I mean, no, no I mean, like when like she found out that... Um, Garrett Dillahunt has stolen all of her money, and she was like, "Oh, she was a little mad, but she was like, okay." See, I, think I she read was this as keep it. Like, together. I understand. Like, she she has probably like a patience of a saint because she's probably the caretaker of this uh, autistic boy, and she's like probably and she was dealing with a um, mother that had uh, mental health issues too, so she's probably very patient. Uh, but just yeah. the reactions from her, it was just like. No, I could tell she was pissed, but yeah. See that that's uh, yeah. I see. I didn't. I think she. I thought she was not. I think she was at the end of her patience, and that she was very desperate and tired and exhausted. And she's like, she doesn't like. She loves her brother. Like, and I actually really liked the the moments where she had those dark fantasies about Mm -hmm. letting him die or killing him. I thought that actually was a step that they wouldn't normally take in a movie. This kind of like. Low, you know, like not very 
highbrow or right. not very. I I thought that was a, a good element because usually they'd be like, well, we want to make her look like a saint, and um, I feel like she she she's so just over all of this, and it's like it's no surprise he took all of her fucking money. She probably almost expected it, and she's got the. Has, this kid and she fucking wishes she couldn't love him the way she does, but right. cause she wants to go and have this life and get away from this and get away from her stepdad. But she doesn't want to leave her brother in a place and they they can't take care of him anyway. And so I just read that all as she's just like, this is so fucking exhausting. And now I've got to Now I've got to go here and fucking sort out my money. I'm not going to get it. Like she know, I was like, I feel like I felt that for her. Like she's like, yeah, like when she's talking to the guy who's telling her about the scholarship, you could see in her face, she knows she's not going to be there, but she's saying, okay, I'll be there. Like I, I, that's how I read her. Well, you know, again, I, first of all, the phone is like, you got to get here or we're going to give it the scholarship away. And I'm like, there is a hurricane, sir. Can you just <laughs> give it a minute? Yeah. <laughs> she shouldn't be on the road right now. Again, I don't know why I was so focused on the fucking hurricane. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Well, it's like tonally, I just felt those serious parts were at odds with the premise of it. You know, mm-hmm. like, well, like the, uh, the, the, um, the uh, beaten down sister that has to take care of her, that who, uh, whose mother just died for, by suicide and is stuck with um, caring for her brother. And then you throw in the fact that her stepdad trapped her in a house with the tiger. <laughs> and uh, boarded it all up. <laughs> Wouldn't you put it that way? And boarded it, it all up. It, it was just, um, it didn't jive with me like the the heaviness combined. Oh, sorry, combined with the silly premise of you know what though being boarded up with a tiger. <laughs> it doesn't feel as silly when you really like. I think because we, well, me, Kelly, and Amy have all watched Fatal Attractions, and you're kind of like, I could see someone using a big cat as a murder weapon. Hello, it's been done. What are we? Carol do- Baskin. Carol Baskin. Carol Baskin did it. <laughs> Like, like you can't say any of this is outrageous when you look at the true yeah. life story of fucking Carol and Baskin. It's and Tiger too. Yeah. Well, yeah. Made, again, it, yeah. it made perfect sense. Like, really, like he knows that a hurricane's coming, so he has reason to board up his place. He knows he just took all her money. He it's took like, out a life insurance policy on her. It was just a lot of. It was like the perfect storm of events happening for him. I think, like, well, I think he waited. Perfect storm like hurricane. Yeah, he was. I think <laughs> he, was he was waiting for a hurricane and a chance to buy a tiger. Well, he need. I I don't know, but um, good point. I, I, I thought about it like that. <laughs> that is true, but um, I liked that. Um, there were, you know, he took, you know, there, there was that life insurance. Um, so there, there was, you know, there's, ah, and he went mystery. to the bar. He went to the bar during the hurricane. Left her, them home alone during the hurricane. Again, why are you out on? Okay. The alibi. Yeah, I know, but this is all forty-eight hours. Other sides of the coin stuff. Well, and you don't know where that bar because that's what we said. And then I was like, well, maybe he's not. Maybe he left town. Maybe, maybe. he's at a bar, two town, you know, <laughs> above the hurricane line. Could be, could be. Um, I need to get it off the fucking hurricane thing. Anyway, so <laughs> it's, it's that Florida in you. You can't get away. I from can't it. stop. Um, he's trying to kill him with the tiger, so it looks like an accident. Although, how are you going to explain? You know what? I guess he could have like, I don't know. He was going to set up but a scene he was, in some way. But he was kind of probably kind of tear down the door yeah, or something. Yeah. yeah, he was kind of buddy buddy with the uh, law enforcement, so maybe he could, you know, talk it talk it was a way out of it. And it, if you could even look at it like this, because of course they would probably put the tiger down. But he he was getting two hundred and fifty grand yeah. for her insurance, and God knows if there was one on the kid too. There was, so there was on there was. So, oh so. So like the whatever he paid for the tiger was like it wouldn't even matter if he lost it because he was getting so much money back for its use. You know what I mean? It was just like an expensive weapon. So, you know, the tiger's stuck in the house and they're all locked in and she's got to figure out what the fuck to do. The um the house didn't <laughs> the house started to get really confusing. You spend all your time in this movie basically running from room to room um yeah it does get stairs um and that got a little much because i was like where are we now where are we going now what are we doing now i don't understand the layout of this house anymore i've lost it don't know that i I knew it i think i think that was sort of deliberate i think it was supposed to be very disorienting um again that for me ratcheted the tension up because i also I, i didn't know when she kept opening 
doors and windows and just to find boards. It was just, um, it was very disorienting. The, <laughs> the scene in the like laundry shoot was so uncomfortable for me, like in a good way. Like yeah. it gave me uh, the same feelings I got during the descent and everything. Cause she's stuck in this little shoot that goes from her bedroom down to the laundry room. Best moment in the movie, probably. And she's hiding from oh, the tiger. Pro- in it. For sure. Um, and the, t- the tiger who's, was it Jaws 3 or f- where I'm like, where he goes down to Bahamas to like wreak revenge? That's revenge. Four. 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 Well, shut up. Like, I don't, I like it. It felt like this tiger. Which Jaws the revenge is it where Jaws goes for revenge? <laughs> this tiger was the Jaws from Jaws 4. He was going to find you no matter where. And he was going to do things that you didn't know an animal could do <laughs> plus he ate like, reason through things like 10 meatballs full of uh, zoloft or something it looked like viagra they were a little blue pills. Viagra. that's the problem <laughs> she, it was, she, a, hor- she, she it was a horny tiger she thought it was sleeping pills <laughs> well like i said i mean uh, it, it, it was it was very hungry and yeah. um and i mean I in tigers for the do- tiger yeah, I was I am happy to say that it wasn't killed in the end that we right. we didn't see that we don't get happen to see anyway that. get to I didn't um, mean to say it like that we don't have to see that. <laughs> but uh, I, I, like I said, I do think it's also, I mean, they have, you know, very heightened senses of hearing and smell and, and, uh, and, and pretty good senses of direction. I mean, it probably would be diff- more difficult for it to get around the house. Um, well, but, it, it, like you said, like, as a tiger, it, it should have heightened senses. And, but there were times where she's just hiding uh, behind the wall and the tiger just literally, She's like hiding against the wall, yeah. And the tiger literally walks by her and doesn't notice her at all. So yeah, I'll, I'll say they pick and choose their time. Yeah, they and they sure. pick and choose how strong the tiger is sometimes. Yeah, I think like they didn't can, challenge the they didn't challenge the writing of a lot of these scenes. That I, it could just be they ran out. I'm not. It's not a uh, this movie. Every movie is working within limitations, right? I feel like they didn't challenge those moments in the writing or even when they were filming to say, maybe we could do this moment a little more believably or this moment a little more intensely. You know? Yeah. But I, when you have like so many serious moments, serious heaviness in the movie, to me, you, you can't have like the silly moment. The, uh, you have to pick up the strings a little bit when they take it seriously. I will say I like, and maybe this is a thing too. I, when it comes to schlocky stuff, I feel like I do like serious shot, like the half serious schlocky stuff and less of the like super outrageously campy stuff. It's fine. Or maybe I'm, maybe I'm just discovering that. Maybe I'm just making that up. (laughs) Maybe it's, I don't even know. I don't know until I'm man moods affect so much oh, of this. for sure. Yeah, they just go movie by movie. Yeah, mm-hmm. and if you catch yeah. me, like, the lair caught me in the perfect mood where a year ago I might have watched the same movie and had a completely different reaction to it. Yeah. Like, we watched this movie and then we watched or in the different order. It does not matter, Amy, why you're being so specific. I don't know. I don't know why I'm doing that. Uh, we watched um, Phantom of the Mall. Eric's Revenge. Oh, Eric's yeah. Revenge, because it was, was that the Joe Bob. It was the Joe Bob movie for the Valentine's Day special, and that is objectively just a messy mess of a movie. It's <laughs> bad, but Great I had way trivia. more fun. Great I had trivia. way more fun yeah. watching yeah. that than Burning Bright. If you I don't watch know. it, here's the thing okay. that blew my mind. One second, Andy. If you, the thing with that Eric's Revenge was that really shocked me was they have all these great moments when you watch Joe Bob of him giving you the trivia and the poor host segments. But Max Dad from It's Always Sunny has a major role in that yeah. movie, and they never once mentioned it. Never once said a word. That's Max Dad. Go ahead, Andy. I sorry. love it when, like, no, uh, I love it when uh, those character actors just pop up every mm-hmm. now and then. But uh, why was it called Burning Bright? Is it just because she had the that poem? Um, it's a poem. Um, what's his nuts? Right, Frost, maybe Kipling. Kipling. Did they reference it in the movie? No, it's just a famous. Um, it's no. William Blake's poem. William Blake. Oh, so we we're just supposed to know about tiger, this, tiger this, burning well, bright. You don't this, need ti- to, this, this tiger uh, poem. You don't need to know it, but if you want to know why it's called Burning Bright, <laughs> that's why. <laughs> but like, you'll be a successful adult without knowing it. Okay, that's a Jeopardy question right there. Yeah, but yeah. I thought it was called Burning Bright just because she had the uh, pit. The uh, torch lit up. I was like, "Is that why they call it burning bright?" Because what young the torch woman was burning in her early, early twenties, late teens, 
I don't know where she's at. Knows how to make a torch on the spur of the moment. I don't know how to make a torch. I don't know what I would soak it in. Oil. What oil? Or Vaseline. You can use ba- Vaseline. Baby oil. Oh. Well, I'm just saying I'm a 43-year-old woman, <laughs> yeah. and I didn't know how to make a torch, but this bitch well, is now like, you do. I got an idea. It's like D&D. It, if you're caught in the house with a tiger, now you know what to do, Amy. Me and Man. my buddy Dave made a torch once when How'd we were it kids. Go? It was a torch. Yeah? It flamed. Did yeah. you burn anything that shouldn't have been burnt? Probably just the torch. I mean, we were too young to be carrying a torch Everything. through the woods. Well, that was <laughs> What's once... the right age to carry a torch? <laughs> 18. It was once a basic life skill. Yeah. Well, I'm sure that's true. But... When you think about it. No, I just think that's fascinating. Yeah. That, we like... just duct tape rags to the end of a stick and poured lighter fluid on it. Yeah. Oh. Do it. yeah. That's dangerous. Yeah. We don't recommend that. Oh, speaking of dangerous. That. This was I don't sk- recommend that. This was a silly uh, moment in the movie, but for me, it was just a f- silly moment for me. It was like when near at the end when they got in the deep freeze. Mm-hmm. I was yeah. like, "No, don't get in the deep freeze." <laughs> did you see that Punky Brewster? <laughs> well, did you also? See I did say Brewster? I was like, "Oh, so they're gonna just go ahead and suffocate yeah. instead?" Yeah. I guess. <laughs> I'm yeah. like, "What if like the a- fucking tiger tips you over and you're on the lid now? Well, the lid is the floor. It saved their lives, so maybe we're yeah. the idiots. Maybe we should follow." <laughs> Uh, step up to the streets, girl, yeah. and b- bone an old lady guy. <laughs> bone an old yeah. lady guy. Well, I thought like he, I thought that the um, because it was there was no power because of the hurricane, right? But I thought they were gonna get trapped in the uh, deep freeze by the tiger turning it over. That's what I said. And yeah, the pa- and the, and then the power kicks on, then they have to worry about freezing to death. And now. You didn't death. see that where the tiger cut the power. It was just a brief moment where you saw the paws come up to the junction box with the little scissors. Yeah. You missed that. They're, uh, the end, the only person who gets eaten. Yeah. Garrett Dillon. Yeah. That's is the kid. And He also killed their mom, by the way. Yeah. yeah. It turns out. Which, um, I, I love that part of this, the, like that they had this whole crime happening really yeah. is what saved the movie for me and made it like, like I was invested because of that. It definitely, that's what plussed it for me, I think. And like, again, I mean, I think because of that, it ties the other parts together for me. I, I think it helped me to see them more seriously, I guess. I don't know. Um, because without that, I everything you say, like I totally agree with. Did you see Shockma? No, we're going to watch that, right? Well, at some point, yeah, we, when we do, we were talking about doing... Like, I want to. I've been, wanti- I've been wanting to. <laughs> yeah. I've been saving it. I, ha- I have yeah. waited. You'll like it. I just if- know the, I just know the yeah. poster. Yeah. If you like Burning Bright, Shockma, I think, is a better yeah. kind of, same kind of... Good. Thing. It's really I'm, intense. I'm psyched. Yeah. Should we um, warn, warn women now if their significant other is in the market for a tiger? Is that a red flag? Yes, it always <laughs> has been. <laughs> you, it might not so. even be a red flag that he's going to try to kill you, but you shouldn't be with that That's person. somebody who is irresponsible, okay? Yeah. No, one, no one should have a tiger. Don't mingle your finances with somebody like that. No one should have a tiger. No. No. You don't have children with somebody like that. Tigers are so snuggly and soft. How do you know? I have no idea. (laughs) Although I did play with a baby lion when I was a kid. Well, is that a tiger? It's a lion. What about a baby wheel? Which is just as fucking cool. Are you are you uh, for real or are you lying? No, I'm, oh, I'm one thousand percent for real. But the guy who owned it was also probably a really irresponsible twat. So, um. Yeah. Yeah. We just burning sh- bright. Burning bright. Thank you, movie, for your service. The uh we selected the movie for next week just before the show. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we did. Remember it's NF Hell. We're gonna go with Clash of the Titans. Release the Kraken. Starring <laughs> Mr. Lisa Renna. Yeah. Burgess mm-hmm. Meredith. Harry Hamlin. And his thoughts. This is sw- and this Ma- is for the Tennessee Ray Harryhausen. Yep. We haven't figured out yet. The Titans, who we beat them, um, we beat them we in beat the playoffs them. last year. We beat them severely. So I can't be mad at them. Lawrence Olivier, he plays Zeus. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh my gosh! There's, uh, there's another famous lady who's one of the gods who stands over there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can't yeah, remember yeah, which yeah, one. Yeah. Olympia yeah, Dukakis, no. not Redgrave. Or maybe. Just because know. because it's Mount Olympus. Mount Olympus? <laughs> <Yeah. Lipus. laughs> 
Oh, Olympus. Very is Greek name. That Euro meat Olympus brand. That's good. All right. So at the end of every show, <laughs> we say hi to our Bells bubs. And I'm going to read that list right now. Uh, again, patreon.com slash NOTLP. Elise. We just I'll saw her. see you in a second. I just saw her. And, and everyone else just saw her yeah. also. Alyssa. Brandon and Emily. Jeffel. Dustin. I own a good one. <laughs> Dr. Brian. <laughs> Bill Chandler. Oh. Dr. Brian, half the calories of regular Dr. Brian. Diet Dr. Brian. <laughs> Bill Farner. Blake. <laughs> Frosted Blakes. They're <laughs> great. Blake, it just happened. Did you feel it? You got a nickname. Oh, he's got a food based uh, nickname now, too. It's ti- also tiger related. See, I wrote things it are down. happening. It's all about tigers. So we, got, we got Blaine and Blake as, <laughs> as food. Blaine as yogurt. food uh, yeah. Uh, uh, nicknames. Uh, Jordash Jeans. Oh. Paul. Paul. Yeah. <laughs> That was me falling off a building. And that, is that, yeah. is I, that I, I, got what you were, I got what you're doing. Help uh, me now, I'm appalling. I'm not doing that. I'm appalling. Uh, I found that joke appalling. It was appalling. Oh, My brain shut down one. completely. <laughs> Jeremy Cassie and Gamora, happy birthday, Gamora. Yeah, happy Gamora. Happy you beautiful birthday. big old baby. She's, she's 49 today. In dog years? Yeah. Is that right? Uh, we a got dog of a certain age. Dog now. of a certain age. <laughs> she can watch it now in her yeah. stand. Yeah. Ernie. Hi, Ernie. Dave Siebert. Dave. And Monica. Hey, Monica. I think one of my, that's a dog fart, I think. <laughs> Are you telling Monica or us? Not you, Monica. Um, <laughs> but sometimes they smell like burgers too, but we don't. Well, it's not. <laughs> you ever smell a dog yeah. fart and you're like, that smells good? No. Have I been no. around these dogs too much? I can like, honestly I, say that that yeah. has never happened to me once in my entire Isn't life. There pot roast yeah. in the it, oven. It might be the pot roast it's I'm smelling. Okay, but it, I hope that pot roast smells like, like dog farts. Something that's not no. a good. Something that's not a good crazy. sign. Mm. No, he's crazy. I think he's crazy. He's not well. It's okay. Yeah. On that note, we did it. All right, we did. We do did it. it. All right, guys. all right. Bye. Love Bye. to all. Love you. Bye. Put on